What's up, guys? Welcome back to the last episode of the year of the Having Said That Show. I'm your co-host Avi, alongside Jay. What's up, guys? Ladies, gentlemen, and all others watching, welcome to the 2023 HST Shelfies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. This year's ceremony is brought to you by Rena. The beautiful crockery and tableware we're using today is their teal linear collection, but more on that later. We're doing a little bit of a mukbang and I'm going to throw it to Adi to explain what we're eating today. Yeah, so you know that at having said that, we love to show support to local businesses. So having said that, we have pizza from Hondo's and we have dessert from a very special place, Arioko, and I'm very excited to try both of them. And what a great year we've had. Yeah, Let's just get into it. It's been a it's long year, man. Crazy, guys. And I want to start this off with a little stat, little game for the boys. How many episodes do you think we filmed this year, including this one? Just this year alone? Just this year, from Jan 1st, 2023 to now. While coming up with the nominations, I realized how much we had done in this year. I want to say about like 50. I'll back us doing one a week and I'll go 51. Because yeah. I guess this is yeah, yeah, two yeah. weeks left. Yeah, I'll see you. 50, 50 also, that's my guess. I'll say 65. What? what? <laughs> 51 on the dot. Oh, nice. hey man, that's consistency right there. Yeah. 52 okay. for 52, that's, that's, that's something. 51 out of 52, it's been an insane year. So much growth, so much has changed. A lot of new additions, new faces. Um, so let's dig into the food and we'll get into the first category of the night. Yeah, I don't think we've explained to them what the shelfies are. Oh, we have <laughs> not, we have not. The shelfies, uh, for those who are still wondering, is our HST award show. We want to look back on the year, celebrate the highs and the lows, the great guests and the not so great guests. <laughs> and, you know, just, just talk about it, talk about our year and just do a little bit of a run through. We've done a lot this year. A lot has happened, a lot has changed. And yeah. More than that, I think we've had a lot of people join our channel that may not be uh, fully aware of all the moments on our show. So this would be a good way to kind of catch up with all of that. And yeah, let's get into it. category for the night it's a big one it's an exciting one Oof. it is the most outrageous slash funniest story of the night all right all right okay, okay. we've had some good stories this year on hsc we've had some wild stories some crazy reels that have just popped off of insane things and so the way this has worked i've asked the team the boys to send me their favorite stories of course some have had overlap and then some have just been some just great Great tales from across the across the year. So the nominations for the funniest slash most outrageous story are the kissing caper as told by Ariana. Mm. Mm. The Good Bihar story. bridge heist as told by Adi TV. <laughs> the Amsterdam atrocity as told by me, Aman. <laughs> the teacher's tryst as told by that one guy who trauma dumped on us at home. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. Shout out, shout out to him, bro. I, I hope she was hot. Someone's <laughs> <laughs> fart fiasco oh. as told to us on our HSP. <laughs> hey, shout out Outrageous. Aman. What a Did story. You, Aman has a special heart for Pawan. I really yeah. do, man. And last but not least, the laxative lawbreaker Oof. as told by Adi. So, guys, wow. thoughts? What What are you thinking, man? We've had so many great stories. There were more that I cut out. Honorable mention, I think I was the only one who enjoyed the story, but my story of almost getting arrested by the police, I've, I've always loved. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think you, you are the only one who enjoyed yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I have a bias for the shit story, but I kind of want to pull it back because it wasn't a story that happened to any one of us. Yeah. I want to give that preference. Yeah. So my kind of leaning is towards the Ariana mm. kissing yeah, story. Yeah. What are you guys feeling? I will give it to Ariana also because I think I think it was brave, dude, to say that story. Like, yeah. and mm. that reel is the the reel or the story, um, the short. No. It's the best one 
of ours, right? It's the best short. Okay, it's the best short of ours. So yeah, I will give it to Ariana. I think it was a really funny Something story. Something you guys may all know. While you guys found out about that story, so did Ariana's dad. <laughs> oh yeah, so did basically everyone in Ariana's life. So hmm. honestly, Ariana, for sharing that story and okay. being so open with us. And taking a lot of the flack yourself, I would give that shelfy to her. Well, you know what? I'm, no, what's what's oh. not decided yet? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> handing it out really, really. I, I, I oh, it was a three to one. Situation. I have to argue for the laxative story, bro. That story oh. like put us the amount of people I've met who've been like, "Hey, man, I watched, I saw a clip of you." The pod, and you were talking about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. they yeah. just become like party talk. For people, yeah, you know yeah. People saying? know that story. Like when I walk yeah. into a room, they're yeah. like, "Yo, hey, you, you told us." You're, you're, you're the shit guy. You're the shit story guy. guy. <laughs> That's actually so true. And I also feel like, yeah. oops, sorry, should win because I actually met my ex boss, ex ex boss. And he said, "Oh my God, I saw you on Instagram <laughs> talking about a really horrible story." <laughs> I was like, "I know." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see, I was gracious to Ariana so that it'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> For the for the shock factor, the shit story was great, but my god, that EMI story. The EMI, was just, the, EMI the EMI was the EMI so funny. It, you know, it was so real, real, you know, you know like it this. It was real. Yeah. It happened to me. Well, <laughs> real real <laughs> men pay their own fines. I also That's want to talk the, about the Bihar story because that was our first nah, one that actually did yeah, really well. Yeah. Shout out. And that was the, insane. Sorry, it was really funny how he told it. <laughs> the delivery of that was yeah, yeah, uncomparable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> so was good. honestly one of my favorite moments as we well. We got put on Reddit, right? They put us on like mm. YouTube, YouTube, Indian YouTube fail or something. And they were like, These guys don't know what they're talking about. And like, we pissed off a lot of like geography nerds. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We, like, when, when Western India, right? So a lot of India is north of us. And he said, "Oh, the north side is crazy." And they're like, "That is not in the north. It is to us, bro. It's yeah. all of us. Yeah, everything is in the north, bro. <laughs> like, we don't live that side, you know. So, I think that was a banger too. But I guess we have to go with the table. And so, the first mm. with the table of the night with the table. What are you talking about? As in, like, with the, the table. Oh, 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 that's the award. Oh, that's the. It's the ceremonial award. Oh, okay, for okay, okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen. First shelf view of the night goes to. We all know, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I, it's not really suspense anymore. The kissing caper. Hey, hey let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Speech, speech. Yes, please enjoy watching the clip now. It's yeah. What I'll say. And keep it in your pants. Yeah. <laughs> I was kissing a boy in a car. We got caught. He got out of the car. Then he knew Marathi. So I was like, we are sorted, yeah. right? But we were not sorted. And then we had to pay a very, very high fee. And How it was much? Disgusting. Say it. It was so bad. I was so young. I'm really sorry. What is this happening? Okay, wait, wait, wait. How old were you? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And how high was the fee? Higher than my age. Higher than your age in thousands of rupees. What else, bro? In hundreds. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna man. cry. So what happened? So we had to pay like 25k. This guy I was with, he paid it, and then I paid him back in like EMI installed. <laughs> <laughs> like every time we go out, oh like God. I pay. <laughs> it was a night mess. Awesome, Aman. Why don't we move on to the next category of the night? So, by the way, the pizza's fire. Yeah, yeah. The pizza so is good. Really yeah. Shout out. One thing about the Teal Linear collection from Rena is that they have this reactive glaze on it that makes every piece look unique. Mm. And much like that, our show has had a lot of unique additions this year. You know, a lot of fresh faces, fresh things, a lot of newcomers. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a small break from that award ceremony to talk to you about our sponsor today, Rena. And Aditya, I know this company has a special place in your heart because tableware was one of the first things you bought when you moved into your new house, right? Yeah, I even have footage of me actually going and buying stuff because I f I feel like that's what makes a home a home. And within the next month, I'm actually moving into a new place of my own. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a pad and a half, but I think everything starts with you know how you eat, where you eat. I love. I'm a big one bowl guy. Yeah. You know, I'll put everything in one bowl. So I like having stuff that you can throw in the oven, throw in the fridge. Yeah. Well, I look forward to it. I look forward to eating dinner on these plates at your new house. Let's do it. Hey, yo! If I wanted to buy one of these pieces, would would you happen to have a discount code or something? Oh, a discount code! I'm sure you'd have. <laughs> oh, we, would, we wouldn't do them code? like that. We wouldn't do them without a discount code. Guys, I don't want to blow any socks off. You know, I was saving the mind bogglers for the end of the night. <laughs> but if you're looking to get some new home wear, use code HST10 for 10% off any <laughs> order above a thousand rupees. That Whoa. is incredible savings. Any order. So if any I order, order thousand and one rupee, I get ten percent off. You get ten percent off. off. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. You're saving bro. it. Take that hundred rupees. You know what? Go go get yourself a little treat, bro. Now you have. Crockery and a little treat. What a night! What, what a, a night. day! How lovely! 
much nice. like all the lovely editions we had this year Aye. on HST. Aye. 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 And so our nominee is for best new edition, and frankly, everyone um, gave a different gave a different nomination. Nice. Um, so the nominees are our new camera. Ooh. All right, all right. Oh, my nominee. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who said that one. That was suggested by Adi. Um, the segment HST FM, as suggested by Sid. Big Ooh. fan, big fan. What yeah. a segment, bro. Yeah. I'm also a big fan. The John Cena action figure. That was hey, 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 hey. Suggested by Jay, of course. Suggested by Jay. Shout out to Shivan. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, he doesn't have hands, but he has heart. He has heart. Uh, guys. Uh, wait, Shivan or John Cena? Uh, both of them. Both. <laughs> no, Shivan has hands, guys. Anyway. <laughs> suggested by Ariana. It's Ariana herself. <laughs> Which I mean, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I'm embarrassing if I don't win this one. Um, suggested by me. Definitely not. Suggested by me, the audio mixer, huh? Making us all sound good. Oh, okay, okay. Audio mixer. But then there was another one suggested by me, which was Aman's. Ooh. Ooh. Adding a bit of adding a bit of spice to the show. I had a bunch of you impersonate me in the comments. Don't steal my job, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> making a, making a good night even better. So, what thoughts, guys? What what's what's the table saying? Honestly, the Amazon. only reason I would not give it to Ariana oh. is because uh, it feels like you're not a new addition to the show anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Aww. So, I would go with HST FM because fucking HST FM is the best. Hmm. I love HST FM. I, I know we it. all love yeah. filming HST FM. It gets us closer together. Uh, so I actually nominated the camera because I thought it was our first purchase as a company. But Aman just brought to light the mixer, and I got bro. That made us feel legit. You know, we're like, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're running shit yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It didn't only make us feel legit. It's like we had some of our biggest blunders hmm. yeah. coming by way of audio. Yeah, yeah last and year. Uh, that mixer was just like, yeah, like four inputs. What? Like it's <laughs> five today, bro. five with the ox, bro. Like it's crazy out here, man. We're really and the mixer. Also, all the other additions are made better by the mixer. You know, yeah. We can't sure. hear Ariana speak without it. You sure. Know? <laughs> What's sure. in ooh if it can't be recorded? You know what oh. I'm saying? You said What's it. a podcast without audio? Oh. What's a podcast? Yeah. So I think the table sort of decided. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The table sort of voted. Should we? Should we, should we no, take no, it no, to, no. Should we take it to oh, a yeah, vote? Should we so vote? I'm, I would go HST FM. I love it. Leave your bias aside. I'm just no, no. I love Aman's ooh, and I think it was a fantastic addition to this drop. But sorry, I love HSTF. I, I, I really love HSTF. Aman and I are on the mixer, so Ariana, you're the deciding vote. She's gonna vote for herself. So I will not vote for myself because how sweet was that really lovely comment by Jay. So I will say that I am also voting for the. Oh, yes. Because Aman is so right. Aman is so right. Without that, none of us have a voice. Okay. And nothing is more important than having a voice. So, okay. the 2023 Shelfie for best new edition goes to our audio mixer. <laughs> hey! Don't make a bit up on the <laughs> shout out. Like a high edit for the audio mixer. So actually, shout out, shout out like for the technical people. It's a Tascam Mixcast 4. Yeah. Fantastic! It's good looking, a good looking mixer. Bro. That's true. Yeah. It is a good. Look, it's good looking. Yeah. It's, yeah. One, it's almost like half a year old. It's it's coming into its own. You know. That's hmm. that's whack. <laughs> that's <laughs> whack. The age thing that was weird, man. Uh, okay, Aman, what's our next category? You guys, fret not. I know you're worried. HST FM, not getting that no. much love. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we've always had on the show since we started, that I think brought an air of sophistication to our show, an air of timelessness, just like the table we were using. Was our use of segments, hmm. and so this next category celebrates all the wild and wacky segments that we've done mm. across hmm. the year. And so your nominees for best HST segment of 2023 are, as suggested by Ariana, HST, which is our T segment. As <laughs> was a, there was a lone clap over there. <laughs> it's a segment. It's a segment. As suggested by Sid. The try not to laugh HST edition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. As suggested by Adi, bite me. You know, oh, pizza mm, on bro. that. It's a mango. As suggested. Yo, I forgot by, about that, huh? I forgot about it. As suggested by Jay, it's Judge Blank, which is our, uh, our legal segment. Oh yeah. yeah. Our legal segment. <laughs> <laughs> Where we discuss the day-to-day -day laws that are being updated constantly. You know? <laughs> and as suggested by me, 
I'm an emotional guy. I like my sensitive side. HST unfiltered. Hey, oh. yo, unfiltered is bang. I do want to say you guys love the HST FM. Is this like a right in like runaway victory for hmm. FM for this? Hmm. So hmm. what I what I would say to this is that entire episodes cannot be a sec yeah. which would disqualify bite me and hst yeah no 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 i mean it's an entire episode <laughs> it, would, it would disqualify an unfiltered for sure cuz that's an hour long thing a segment i think can constitutes as like a 15 to 20 minute video i but it's a segment <laughs> of something yeah right? it's not a segment it's a it's a segment of something that's an entire episode within it segment itself. by definition is a part of something yeah it's a, it's a, it stands alone so, it, and that's okay. not a bad thing it just stands okay. alone so you can you can throw another segment if you want let's i mean that means unfiltered bite me and fm hours mm. yeah 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 oh. yeah okay <clears throat> i know which one's winning But these three out. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's winning? So I think the judge. I think the judge. <laughs> I think the it. judge one takes oh, it just because yeah. we have such <laughs> <laughs> we have such fun arguments, especially the last. Uh, I don't know if you guys will have seen They this. You guys will have seen this. <laughs> judge Sapan is one of the most heated <laughs> debates in law today. If you guys are up in up law. to date with your. You know the current laws of of the land. Uh, make sure to check that out. It's, it's like a suits episode. It's a heater, it? man. It, yeah, it's got some twists and turns. So it was one of, it was one of the times, Jay, where I did take your side, and we still kind of lost. Yeah, <laughs> almost, 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 kind of. almost, almost. Kind of. But you wanna defend HST? Um, may I? I? May I? <laughs> so HST was something I really wanted Ariana to do because I love gossip, and I think we both share that interest. <laughs> um, I think. It's gonna be a segment that is one of our favorites, hmm. but we haven't, we haven't perfected it yet. We haven't perfected it yet. You know what I mean? There's a lot more to do there, and we will. A lot more to do. A lot more to do. Do you agree? I agree. I agree. Okay. Something missing from their defense was the fact that I'm also very involved in HSC, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also enjoy gossip. I'm right there by Ariana's side, just fla- being flamboyant for everyone <laughs> on camera, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I get no love. No love, but it is. It You're is the only reason we understand that fucking segment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll say I really like H S T because there's nothing I love more. Nothing I love more than than talking, and you get to talk a lot in that segment. That's a hit for the parents. <laughs> 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 I just lost my train of thought. I don't know. And that's okay. why HST needs a little bit. No, but HST is awesome. I think the try not to laugh was so funny. That was yeah. another lot of those clips went really viral. People mm. like my work came to me said, "Hey, hey, love the pedo joke on the show." Make <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> an awkward team lunch. The thing is, I think that was one of the segments where we were the most drunk we've been on the podcast. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But the reason I'm not giving it that is because it felt stolen. It felt like I was oh. stealing jokes. You know what I mean? Well, that's also because you did steal jokes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so Adi said, "I'll start with an original." And then he tells a joke, and I'm, I'm like, "No, no, no! I started with an original. It was so flagrant yeah, that we had to cut it out. Yeah, so then, when you cut to the oh, joke, oh, I just oh. feel like I stole a joke. That that hasn't seen the light of day. Yeah. Was it <laughs> was it flagrant or was it unfunny? Do you remember it? You want me to tell it? Yeah. It was about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was flagrant as fuck, dude. Yeah. Okay, so then I think it's sort of decided by disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> the segment, the shelfie for best HST segment of 2023 goes to Judge Blank. Woo-hoo! Nice, yeah, Jay, give us a little speech, man. That that segment is good enough to deserve the award. Yeah, I um, love that segment. I think first I'd like to thank you know my parents, my friends, everyone who's <laughs> been on this journey with me. Um, And maybe you should. What I love judges. this, sh- what I love about this show, is all of your guys' constant creativity and ability to make every single episode different. And just when I think that we can't come up with any more segments, any more quizzes, any more fucking taste tests, whatever, we came out with a banger of a segment like Judge Blank, and it's just so much fun. Awesome, so, man! This is for you guys. Selfie up. <coughs> Very cute. So, for this court case in the court of Judge Abish, mm-hmm. we have the plaintiff, right. Aditya. What's up? And the defendant, Jay. What's happening? Um, so, Aditya, what are the charges you're levying against Jay? Honorable Judge Abish, um, members of my jury, empty shelf gang. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm about to present, the facts here to fall, mm. are a clear violation of a verbal contract entered by me, Adi, and Jay, short for Judas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! About two score and five days ago. That's 45 days. 
we entered a verbal agreement. Mm. Oh, the contents of which were that the two of us would be growing out our mullet. Mm. Now, as you can tell by looking at the defendant's side of his head, he has massacred said mullet just a week ago. That is why the defendant is on the stand today because of the mullet massacre. This is the barbershop betrayal. You know, a lot of people say that uh, when you're a kid, don't run with scissors as you might hurt a friend. But he hurt a friend sitting in a chair with scissors. Oh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> I will have order in my court. No uploading. <laughs> wow. What honorable judges those were. <laughs> 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 Shout out the legal profession. <laughs> yeah, shout out lawyers. Shout out, shout out. Um, going for something so honorable. Let's move on to something very degenerate. It's it's our best boys only moment Ooh. of the year. <laughs> so guys, boys only for those who are confused means episodes that are just the five of us. Yes, Ariana is one of the boys. It is oh. a gender neutral term <laughs> in the HST office. Straight, so up, straight up. Clear that up. So our nominees are. The Raft Laugh. Do you remember this? This was when you, the boys <laughs> lost control. Sid was hating on Christchurch for no reason. No, I didn't was hating on Christchurch. No, he started it. And then Sid goes, yeah, and the name's so yeah. boring. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on there, bro? Um, um, and that was, that was so funny. I've watched that clip back I, I think time. that's... That has to be Adi's that's suggestion. A, that's, a yeah. all, that's an yeah. all-time yeah. favorite, bro. This next um, nominee was actually suggested by three of you around this table. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. An instant winner. It was the fight that Sin and Adi oh, had. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That Unbelievable was, scenes. Yeah, bro, I was yeah. like, I was committed, bro. <laughs> Same. I, no, wait, I thought you were trying too hard not to laugh, right? Or were you... No, no, I was in it, bro. I said, Sid, Sid, don't sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I said, we'll talk it out. Bro, <laughs> I was, I was like, dude, I was actually pranked, bro. <laughs> that was so much fun. Like, I came... I was ready to shoot the episode. These guys had an argument. It was awesome. Yeah. And I don't think yeah. Adi and I have ever had a fight like that. Or even a fight. Exactly. Like it was super uncharacteristic yeah. of Sid, which which was like, he just like, he just yeah, like, of Sid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> did, I, did, did, did I just snap like that? And he's like, no, like I'm fucking done, bro. And I thought what Aditya said was harsh. I was like, fuck. Yeah, that was awesome, bro. That and then I think that just set the tone for the rest yeah. of the yeah. Yeah. But we have some other hits. Um Jay's beef with teachers. Where he starts talking about school uh, and Sid goes, he's gonna call a teacher a bitch. <laughs> two, literally two seconds later, Jay goes, and that bitch told me. <laughs> it was amazing. What a moment. Sid and I cracked up. Watch it. We'll, we'll link it down below. If it um, this I suggested because this is, I think, I've, the hardest I've laughed this year on the show was during the toothpaste taste test banging segment, by the way. <laughs> Uh, when I passed Jay the Batman toothpaste, <laughs> he said it's textured for the black. <laughs> I thought that was so good. Um, and that was just wonderful. Was like, for the black. And I, I use that toothpaste once in a while as a little treat for myself. Like a little, I pre-game my brushes with a little Batman toothpaste. And every time I fucking touch it, I'm like, oh, for the blankets. So, yeah, this is so, so good. It's just a great, great joke. And the last one is another joke that I think only I find funny. Whereas someone, I think it was me, brought up Peppa Pig on the show, and Jay, without missing a beat, that was so good. Jay, without missing a beat, said, "Do you think they've replaced the pig by now? Someone's got to eat, right? It's an animated pig, Jay. It's a cartoon. Someone drew it, bro." <laughs> yeah, I think only you find it. So I don't find it. So funny. No, wait, I have another one. I have uh, another one. Hit us and with it. In one of the recent episodes, there was a skincare episode, and Changi goes. We should all save water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just randomly. He's just like, we should all save water. We're like, yeah, bro, we know. <laughs> that was I so felt like it was good. important. Okay, so let me tell you all the reason I picked that moment of the boys losing control. Everything else that was nominated felt like it was for the camera. You know, that was the only one where we were trying to be good on camera yeah, yeah, and we yeah. weren't able to, like, it was, it was the essence of being with us actually. Hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I didn't nominate that for the best moment, that's the only reason I didn't nominate it for the best boys moment. Yeah, I mean, we did, you invented a category and you just- Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So I, I needed that, like I went through my list and I was like, shit, this moment isn't on there. So I must have just sent Amon a, a boys moment, but that is 
forever my favorite HST moment of all time. That is what goes down behind the cameras like 24 seven. And we just have to fucking edit it out. It was one instance where we didn't. <laughs> and it was, it made the entire episode for me, man. It that was, episode was, I remember when, after we shot that episode, I think that was the best I felt after. Yeah, it, it was, was so good. good. And we lost half of it because we didn't have a mixer. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, every, everything just full, yeah. uh, full so good, you know? Well, Serendipity. I mean, but the fight was awesome too. So you know, I think we should vote on this. Mm. I am Frank. sure. Frank, okay. Sid. You, you, your, your point about it being for camera yeah. Yeah, swayed yeah, yeah, me, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm going to go against my own vote and I'll go I'm, for the... Raft story. I, yes, I think if it's not gonna come up again, that Raft story needs to be like the best moment, for sure. Aman, I'm just to make it exciting. I'm gonna go for the prank. <laughs> okay, but that's, well, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that that means, ladies and gentlemen, and all others watching, the 2023 shelfie for the best boys only moment goes to the raft laugh let's go you go, let's Sid. go let's go yeah, I know, man. Yeah, that. <laughs> well well it's it told the story so you and know, what up bro oh. wait, 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 wait. hold up hold up <laughs> the sure. editing master class <laughs> i pulled there of leaving that in gotcha. fair, okay fair enough fair enough fair enough you already hit us with a speech a speech oh okay well i think that clip will be the best speech for you guys because it it shows you why we have fun making this show <laughs> mm -hmm. and Having said that, let's just roll the clip. Why don't you go, Sid? What, what was the scariest thing you've ever been to? Um, well, you were a part of the story, if you remember. Okay. Uh, we were on a family trip. Okay. And we went rafting. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh. Okay, yeah. Go yeah. for the story. It's so a we were banger. in uh, we were in New Zealand and we were out on a family trip. We were in Christchurch, the city which is known for its adventure sports and all. And all, and all of us were... We went rafting. Queenstown. Christchurch was the oh, sorry, boring ass place. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> Christchurch <laughs> was really boring, bro. It actually was. It yeah. actually was. Okay, okay. The okay. name also sounds boring. Yeah. Right? Um, anyway, so we were we were rafting, and um, <laughs> there was this um, there was this time when so the thing with rafting is you sit on if you have rafted before you sit on the edge of the. <laughs> what I think he's just saying Christianity is taking a big hit. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start my story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, start. So yeah, um, Adi, one of my uh, scariest stories was when you were involved. You were a part of it, and mm. this was our uh, trip to New Zealand. Mm. When we were, we were gonna go. <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't think. I didn't think you were gonna start from so yeah, far back. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Bro, just start from... I thought I was start from the... Just start from the rafting, bro. What's up, guys? Because <laughs> he was laughing the whole time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Where do I start from? Start from Queenstown. Yeah. Queenstown. Okay. I just said... No, bro, that was Queenstown. Yeah, so it was it was Queenstown. My bad. Um, and um, Queenstown is known for its adventure sports. And one of the things we did was river rafting. Hmm. Have you all rafted before, by the way? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta get over this. We can't no, keep no, rafting. No, no, no. I've never, I've never, I've never uh, gone rafting. <laughs> okay, okay. Start from okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking <laughs> deal with the story. Bro. Okay. Can you change the story? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Guys, guys, guys. Wait, wait, put it together, guys. Yeah, put it together. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> She's telling you what was the scariest <laughs> moment of his life, bro. <laughs> 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 what, a, what a fun clip that was. Um, <laughs> our next segment is okay, guys, let's be honest. At the end of the day, as much as you know, we love gassing ourselves up here, we are a podcast and we've had some outrageous stakes and we've been told how outrageous those stakes yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, this next segment uh, celebrates some of the worst, <laughs> some, of the, some of the weirdest and uh, wackiest things that we've said. Okay. Um, it is the Shelfie for the 2023 worst take on the pod. All right, let's roll it. Your nominees are, as suggested by Ariana, was the boys reacting to all too well 10 minute version without Aman present. Oh. <laughs> and just saying, what is this? This just sounds like poetry. Yes, that's music without music, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. It is poetry. No, we said, I'm pretty sure we said bad poetry. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> One line was good though. I think she left her scarf at her ex-boyfriend's mother's yeah. house. Like, that's weird, bro. Like, yeah. that's... 
<laughs> That's like psycho behavior. I feel. It was a mistake. She left the scarf. He still wears it because he remembers it all too well. What a yeah. moment! Amazing. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. next, as suggested by Sid, was Sheena's opinion on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not present for this either. <laughs> that was bizarre. That was bizarre. I, I, in my mind, I was like, dude, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I think that was the one time where like. We didn't know how to react. We were just like, uh, "What is she on?" You know, <laughs> who's racking respect, up explosives you know? on dogs, dude? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, maybe she knows something we don't. As suggested by Adi, was um, our good friend Shivan's opinion on India not being a sporting mm. superpower. Yeah. We'll we'll talk about this later. I, I have <laughs> I have words. Um, as suggested by Jay, is me thinking that Taylor Swift is this generation's Michael Jackson. Oh. Yeah. I hmm. I mean I back it. I think I have the evidence to prove why that's not a bad take. And as suggested by me was Jay and Hadi telling our audience to do steroids without any medical. <laughs> yeah. um, and as some honorable mentions, just because I think uh, Anna he is saying she eats her eggs, eggs with, with jam. jam. I mean, in hindsight, it wasn't that weird, but it really set me off that day. <laughs> like it really cooked my goose on that shoot. <laughs> And also, <laughs> uh, you know, cooked your goose. <laughs> okay. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was uh, flummoxed by the by the opinion. And another food opinion again, honorable mention. Sakshi, great guest, but who mm. who doesn't like vada pav? Yeah. 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 Outrageous. Come on, man. Eat, we had a lot of food controversial, controversial opinions. Yeah. yeah, we have, we have, we have. I was also going to include Sid liking the new blue lays, but I was like, that's just his, oh, that's just his taste. I'm, I'm being mean. So, um, <laughs> yes. I would include that, bro. It's wild. I understand if you would include it. I understand. I mean, it. it's, that's it's not. Of, uh, but what I think the it's not bad. Yeah. It's just yeah. not on par with the uh, OG Blue Lays. Yeah. But the worst take, guys. What are you all thinking? Out of out of all of these, Ooh. do the. Uh, yeah. So uh, okay, Shivan got a lot of backlash, right? Yeah. Shivan got a lot of backlash, bro. But in dude, defense after of Shivan, the finals. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I. I it's can't really say much. I but can't really say much. I, in defense of Shivan, A, I think he was playing it up a bit for camera. Yeah. B, I think you guys were a little mean to the poor bloke. And also C. You guys, you. Well, the audience, the audience. <laughs> hmm. And C, I think he, what he was trying to say was, India doesn't give their athletes the right infrastructure. Mm. Yeah. To like be a so- sporting yeah. superpower, like he wasn't blaming the athletes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that got a little muddled in translation. I think so too. I think he said we fully have the capacity and the capability and the resources to do that. It's just that we don't because we prioritize different things. But that being said, saying we only have two elite athletes was kind of yeah, it was crazy. And he said he we will never be a superpower. Like that was I think I think that was like an exaggeration. Yeah, yeah. but. I would still say the the dog uh, explosive yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, would would take my uh, well if I, maybe she plays a lot of uh, Modern Warfare three survival <laughs> mode uh, where the dogs do have C four strapped to them in which case fair <clears throat> but I don't think that's the case yeah I'm gonna stick to my vote even I think that made me like the the most uncomfortable <laughs> <of myself. laughs> you know after she said it the, my first reaction was to look at both of your faces and y'all were like yeah like, what do we say to this but, I yeah. think we were trying to move on from that. ASAP. Moving on from this ASAP, Shina, <laughs> congratulations. Um, your good friend Sid will now give a speech in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shina, for the most outrageous opinion you've said. And I, yeah, come on, it was it was stupid, very stupid. Uh, <laughs> I thought uh, you were gonna say all in joke and fun. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna stick to it. But um. <laughs> Guys, the shelfie has it all. Controversy, <laughs> ops. Come here for all your drama. <laughs> okay, um, let's cut to that clip and we'll see you back in a minute. Just around G20. Yeah. There was news about uh, how all the dogs were sort of asked to be removed from the street. And I saw all these like people going crazy on stories. Like, oh my God, how can you treat dogs like this? And I was like, I have an indie. I will talk. And I say talk because that's what I feel like I'm doing when I see any street dog on the mm-hmm. road. I talk to every single dog I see, but like think a little maybe as to why that, that there's like. So where did where did they it. put the dogs though? Oh, uh, there were like videos of uh, the dogs in a very like not in a great place and like they were not being treated well, which was like it angered me also. But then um, the whole idea of like don't eliminate them mm-hmm. that is stupid. You can have anyone attach explosives on a dog, and any, any it, like. I feel like we've gone into a whole other. A whole <laughs> really? other thing. I'm telling you. I didn't know you. that was the concern. Yeah. I didn't know we were playing Call of Duty. Like. No, but you like I'm telling you from like a 
लेंस ऑफ नेशनल सिक्योरिटी इट मेक सेंस यू नीड लाइक you do think about it like some foreign national is he just gets bit by a street dog yeah. do you yeah. realize yeah. how stupid our country is going to look yeah 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 hmm right people are thinking can you believe she did that <laughs> <laughs> what was that about bro anyway moving on to our next character our next segment so one thing that hsc has done really well this year is we've had a lot of very very cool guests yes mm. and a lot of you guys have shown a lot of love to a lot of our guests and they've shown a lot of love to us and we've loved having them on sheena included and so we asked you guys on our instagram story for your favorite hst guest of 2023 there were a few names that came around a lot there were two that definitely stood out from the pack but there was one clear winner <laughs> before really? before we reveal the biggest category of the night um any of you want dessert mm what is this ariana this is from arioko we got cookies just leches and a matcha strawberry cake ooh yeah and there these awesome lunch box cake so they look super aesthetic that take them for a picnic you know good vibes yeah. all around you know and another take that we haven't mentioned on the pod is you guys not liking matcha oh yeah um which i love so. the two of them i'm excited to try that What? yeah i'm excited to try the tres leches me too cake. me like, too okay i'm not your nominations for best guest fans choice are Mm. Sakshi R. <laughs> Abhish Matthew. Mm. Ankita Hasil Rani. Mm. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Sid's favorite Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> And your outright winner I it was a little bit of a two horse race but mm. realistically yeah. there was only one name that came back and back and back and back they say she's the show mm. it is Tanisha Tanisho the only show for sure well one of three guests we've had on twice yes yep yep yeah. but what a guest what she a brings guest. the energy what she brings guest. the vibes Every can't wait to have her back again yep yeah you guys have What's baby names week? planned out Yeah. No. Okay, Rishabh. Where was the last time? Y'all, y'all, y'all will actually y'all won't. They're really. It's got to be futuristic, though. Have you It's met a baby named all. Rahul in like the past ten years? You know what? Rahul? Nobody calls their kids Rahul anymore. I feel like that's a no, lost it's name. Rahul. What? Oh. Rahul. Yeah, oh, I've met a Rahul, the... like a R A O U L. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know. A, we know a R A U L. Wait, what is your baby's name? But they're like not futuristic at all. That's like, oh, that's very... okay. Yeah, that's okay, kind of lame, so dude. If it's... <laughs> <laughs> Your baby's not futuristic. Oh, that shit. Crazy, bro. Put him back. Put him back. Are you drunk? You. For the time it was relevant. Okay. For the time it was the 1600s when it was relevant. Get him, Tanisha. Get him. The desserts are insane. That's... I have to say, I'm not a dessert person at all. Can I try that? This, oh, this is, is sick. One thing that's great about Tanisha, I think she really like gels with all of us. which she also brings her own like personality mm. um and i think that's why so many people love watching her show also another great moment we haven't mentioned uh is the queen died moment oh yes, yes. yes. Um, yeah which was awesome and so shout out to nisha that, that was this year yeah. that's wild third episode of the year actually but moving on uh you know we've had so many guests and obviously the fans can only choose so many i think it's only fair that we shout out some of our guests we feel a bit underrated like great additions to the show we've loved having them on um but you know maybe they haven't uh, tantalized the audience in the way they titillated us uh, <laughs> why make a little sexual so the viewers stay watching um <laughs> they show some nipple or something you know um, no no moving on guys we are not on cool that way our nominations way. for the most underrated guest of 2023 are as suggested by j and sid Addy TV. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. good yeah. nominee, yeah. bro. Yeah. Me and Jay are vibing today. Yeah. Ariana and uh, Adi actually suggested two guests who were in the fans' favorite. Oh. So <laughs> that doesn't matter. I think Fine. mention them. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> mention them. <laughs> Come on, say their name, bro. <laughs> Aditya suggested Abish Matthew. Hey, Abish. The fans love them, bro. You know, it's not really underrated. We love them as well. We love them as well. And um. Uh, Ariana suggested Ankita Hasilrani. Yeah, Ooh. but I as well, man. Yeah. I suspect that's, that's because that was her first episode of the show ever, and so she just wants to show that. <laughs> that was oh. a big reveal. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, the other nominations who I believe were actually underrated 
Uh, Anna, he is one of our hey, only yeah, other yeah, fans. That's true. That's true. That's true. Also, love Adam, him. much love. Big, much big love. impact on the audience. Also, Shivan. I love having Shivan. Yeah, yeah. Shivan is a boy. Yeah, Shivan is a boy. Yeah. 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 Given us some of the best shelf items. This was my nomination for most underrated guest. The last nomination for the night is a duo. Oh, oh. Yeah, one boys. Yes, F1 yes, boys. Yeah, one boys. Yeah, yeah, one boys. Nice. All right, all right. Dude, awesome episode. I will say this as far as. Being on a show yeah. and knowing how to be like professional and stuff, the F one duo yeah. was on. They were better than us. Yeah, bro. we no, fucking suck compared. They were, they were too good. They yeah, F one stats guru Somal Arora, you guys fucking killed it. We cannot wait to have you guys on yeah. on a second time, the yeah. start of the next season. So actually, everyone you mentioned, man, <coughs> Abish, uh, uh, Ankita. Man, like this, it's super super hard. So Aman, like, the reason I chose Abish is not because he wasn't. Liked by the fans or anything, but because I think a lot of people don't see the behind the scenes of like booking mm -hmm. a guest. Mm -hmm. And for Abish, it was the first one we were like, "Oh damn, dude, this guy is coming on our show." It finally feels like so legitimate. Mm -hmm. When he came here, he was so gracious with his time, with his mm -hmm. advice. He stayed with us like for an hour, uh, spoke to us, gave us like game. And me and Jay talk about this all the time where we're like, "He doesn't need to do that." Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he's not at that level. I mean, where he would have to like. Yeah. have to collaborate with us or anything yeah. but he just genuinely wanted to show love to us and that's why he was my underrated pick like yeah. it meant so much to all of us yeah completely mm -hmm. agree yeah but i do want to say he got two votes adi tv was an yeah. awesome guest mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the reason he was also super underrated is because our content and our audience we initially felt like might not match with his yeah when he came on the show he was just On it, he was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, he was so like he was. And he's great, just a great man. dude, I, you know. And it was just a pleasure talking to him. And that episode, actually, looking back, is one that the audience really loves and that we really love. And yeah. we got a few shoutouts for the best guests, but I, I, you know, I think the fact that both Sid and Jay picked him has to mean, you know, something. It was one of those episodes where I think Aditya and I were traveling the whole weekend. We were tired. We were like, ah, oh, we don't really know what this episode is gonna be like. Sat down. The energy that this dude brought, the stories he brought, the vibe—it was just, it was so on point. And when it comes to an <laughs> underrated guest, mm. I feel like we at least initially underrate. Like he was super underrated. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. And yeah. uh, yeah, this shout out to him, man. He was he was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And he's I I gotta give him credit. He's still one of the people who like still messages me and checks in on the show. Yeah, he's like, yo, how is really? this going? How's yeah, music yeah, going? That's so sweet. What no, a guy, he's, bro. he's great, bro. He's yeah, fantastic. So sweetie, yeah. So what are we saying, boys? I was I'd give it to Addy. Let's bro. give it to Addy. Addy, 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 <laughs> me and Jay legitimately this use this, bro. <laughs> this one, this one's for you, man. You want to join me on this? No, no, you do it better. Come. <laughs> Alright, this one's for you, man. Damn! <laughs> Sick. Yeah, we do. We do actually use that. Yeah. Hey, bro, the, the north side is crazy. They they robbed a bridge, bro. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? In Bihar. In Bihar. <laughs> they stole it away. Stole a bridge. Seven days, bro. It was a steel bridge. They came like ten guys came every night and crew did like. Karte, 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 karte. They bought a truck. They loaded the bridge in the truck and then they sold it, bro. They sold it in the market. Like, like hey, you got my bridge, bro. What the fuck? Like, yeah. Who who, who bought the bridge? Oh, yeah, so you scrap scrap market. Oh, that's the easiest yeah, thing. Yeah, you, yeah. you don't think people would buy bridges out here, bro? Come on. <laughs> you need to connect two places. Uh, uh, he didn't put an ad. An ad thrown along. Oh no. ंगे It's the best picture. It's the Oscars' best picture to our selfies. It is the best episode of 2020. Ooh, hey, hey, I'm gonna say, guys, we've done 51, 51 episodes this year. Damn. Wow. It has been incredible. It has been wow. exhausting, challenging, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, and we're at the end of the year. Um, this is our last shoot of the year. Wow. Yeah. Um, under Studio, our live yeah. show, it's just been spectacular. And so. To honor it, I'm gonna throw you 
the best episodes according to you guys according to me mm. and we can we can decide on a winner go for it yep our first nominee is a recent one it is the blue tokai takeover as suggested by ariana oh, oh. yeah nice unique I pick i really love that episode yeah i have yeah. watched that episode <laughs> I'm not joking. Fifty-five times. <laughs> it is sweet because I think it's the first time, like the audience got to see like a vlog kind of mm. style. Apart from me and Aman doing an eight seven. Yeah. You know, and even that was kind of man on the street mm. stuff. Yeah. This was just us in our element. It was yeah. cool. Yeah. Super mm. fun and like, you know, our family and friends came out. We met yeah. a lot of y'all. Yeah. It's very very sweet. Um, sweet day and awesome to have yeah. it recorded. The next one is come on guys, it's our most popular one. The one that really set us off this year. Um, our wildest bedroom story is wild. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Who nominated that? That episode. Uh, that episode was good. Me, you nominated that. <laughs> yeah. Our next nominee, he's the fans' favorite. It is the Tanisha double feature of Tanisha we called out Tanisha. That's good. It was and good. And Tanisha joins us for Independence. Both awesome episodes. Yeah. The podcast came. We dressed up for the second one. Musti maza. Good time for the whole family. The India quiz. The India, India quiz. quiz was there. Did I pick that one? Did I pick the no, second Tanisha. You did not pick the Tanisha one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you pretty sure picked, I did because I had I'd come back from New York after like four weeks. That was the first oh, shoot. Oh yeah. It was so fun. It was it was, it was great, and it was Let super like last minute as well. Like we called her up and we we're like, "Yo, we'd love to have you on." So. Yeah. No, yeah. three of us that have the same pick. You picked the same as me and Sid. Oh, what did I pick? I'll let you know. It's not yet coming up yet. But the next episode that I thought was amazing was Bite Me. Yeah, of yeah, course. Bite Me was great. <laughs> which which one? The the pizza. We've only done one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good that we still call it Bite Me, and everyone thinks we're doing more, and that means something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing more hopefully. Um, they're just tough shoots, but that was an awesome day. Super fun. It was. It was. I wore a suit. We ate pizza. We ate pizza. Another great day, guys. What a day, bro! The yeah. weather was. The, the weather was crazy. Fantastic. We met a lot of cool like people. At the restaurants. Mm. Some not so cool people. You know who <laughs> you are, okay? <laughs> what? Who, who are you talking there was about? One restaurant that okay. You know why you got that score, okay? You know who you are. <laughs> Um, I have absolutely no idea who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, you know, the thing I love about food is the culture, history, and camaraderie. Ha! The I, culture. I, for I, lo- the I love boys. Yeah, yeah, I love Jay mocking that one. Yes. <laughs> All, uh, hilarious. Good rimming. Uh, the next episode, underrated in my opinion, the dating episode. Five girls, one. Oh, oh my god! Sure. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was good. That was good. That was good. You know. Yeah, that was super fun. First major big was, production yeah, of that ours. Yeah, that was actually yeah. really fun. We really and you watch it, you can't tell it's the same space. It's just awesome. I think. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. cool episode, and we had a lot of fun people on set uh, that day. So it was great, great episode. Shout out to all the women. Shout yeah. out to shout out to me. Shout out to but women in general. But we shout out shout out to shout out women. Shout out women. Shout out women. Shout out women. You know, at the end of the year, shout out women. Thanks. Thanks for holding. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't hear that. That was uh, camera man. Big fan of women. Big fan of women. Um, as suggested. Me too, bro. Me too. <laughs> as suggested by Jay was we got into a f- big fight. Prank gone wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Boys night. Boys night. That was a banger. That, that was a good. That was a good episode. Good fun for everyone. I said I would masturbate twelve times in one day. <laughs> yeah, that's something that happened. Um, but yes, and then three of us picked this one. I think y'all know what it is. I have no. I'm I have blanking no idea. what I picked. I'm surprised you guys didn't pick this. I'm shocked. Oh, I know what it is. Wait, it has, this has to be the winner. Oh, guys, we're not. Podcasters, we're co-workers in an office. The office. Oh, of course, it's the yeah, office. Oh my god, yeah, that was good. That was, that was um, good. What an episode! What an Man. what what an episode! Yeah. Uh, Jay almost dated a girl who was like six foot. <laughs> Sarah <laughs> also wanted to date a girl with six feet. He had a weird yeah. foot. <laughs> and, and that um, that was a good episode. episode. And yeah, it was. Amazing! I I, I, wow. I voted for that episode, and my main reason is Oof. because of the effort that went into it. Yeah. yeah, it was the weekend of shoot plus all the script writing sessions plus I think we came up with a banging script. And it the, was insane. Let's not forget the ten days of editing. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Shout out to Adi for that. Yeah. Yeah, but man, I, that wasn't an episode. That was a movie, man. That was an. Yeah. E- that wasn't. That was that a TV episode, man. That was a short film, dude. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So. Is that is that oh. a winner? I don't know. I'm guys. sticking with it. Look, I'll I'll, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I love the Office episode. Yeah. Uh, I was leaning mm-hmm. more towards a regular, like podcast episode. That's what I thought that this would be. No, uh, the reason I'm not is because I'm not leaning towards a regular podcast episode because the other ones make us the pod show. 
you yeah. know they hmm. they really mark us as something different from a podcast mm. true so for me the stand out ones are the office bite me mm. the vlog stuff like that like they dating. just feel cooler so yeah, yeah dating yeah. yeah that's true okay so let's vote let's vote let's vote well i'll say i'll go first i know my original one was the blue tech i vlog which is my favorite video of all time but i think it's a personal favorite because it was just the best day ever <laughs> and i had the best time yeah the the day was we ended it by the four of us just yeah. sitting there and talking for 2 hours after yeah. like yeah, a whole day of shoot it was a while bro actually yeah, yeah and then i bought paneer for the day yeah <laughs> yeah you did nice. what <laughs> you bought paneer for him yeah. and i and, and i was waiting for the paneer and then some woman cut me in line oh. and and you know maybe what? on another day i would have been like how dare you woman yeah. It's a good day, man. It's a good day. Don't forget your paneer. It's a good wow. day to have a good day. Shout out women, bro. Yeah. Shout out women. Shout out women, bro. Shout out paneer. Don't forget. Shout out paneer. I actually don't like paneer at all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's. I think we should vote because everyone's gonna be pretty torn on this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, you were saying. I was saying that having said that, my favorite episode. Shot. Take a shot. Is the. Oh, it's so hard. I think my favorite one that I have rewatched the most times is <laughs> is the is the is um is the is the prank is the prank is the prank okay yeah, yeah, yeah. that was my second that was and in the my head landed. that was okay. the one that I was <laughs> sit the office I am sticking to Jay. my I I think the boys night episode was just so much fun yeah. it was it was great it was. Aman, the office. Join oh. the oh, office. All right, all right. So it's, a it's a good pick. It's a good pick. It's a good pick. And I got to decide between the if I'm deciding between sure. the office yeah, 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 and yeah, the boys' be, night. It's got to be that. <gasps> okay, let me just like close my eyes and like instinctually, if I yeah, saw yeah, two yeah. thumbnails, like you know, what am I picking? Oh, the thumbnail! Oh, 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 knowing that I know the episode. Prank me hard, though. Yeah. I'll pick the I'll pick the boys' night. Yeah. yeah. You woo, just you woo, just woo, said woo, it. Woo, woo, woo. That's what separates us. No. You yeah, just I said know, that. In in the comparison of the two videos, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. I think just like Adi said that these like the vlog was like an insight into how we are as regular people. I think the <laughs> well, boys' night. We're regular people only. Calm down. Calm down. I think the boys' night. Was also like how we are in like life. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay, okay. So how we are in real life. Yeah, yeah. in real so, life. So not on camera, guys. Yeah. The twenty twenty three Shalfi goes to boys' night clearly, and it was a night for the boys, much like this one. Much like this. Um, one. and you know, I always agree with what my fellow podcasters say. So there's no, no, no protest <laughs> me that the office didn't win. Not at all. Nothing <laughs> to you should indicate that I'm peeved about the office not winning. Okay, is that right, Michael? That's right. Thank you. Um, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think this one is for all of us. This is yeah, it's a boys', boys night for all the boys in the for room. All the boys in the room. Um, shout out the boys! Shout out! Let's go! Let's give a round of applause. So this is one liner face off. <laughs> Jay, you know my you know my handicapped girlfriend, right? She recently dumped me, so I stole her wheelchair. Oh my god. Guess who came crawling back? <laughs> okay. Firstly. What the fuck, dude? That was great, bro. Come on. Wait, you wrote that. <laughs> no, nah, I didn't write that one. I didn't write that one. <laughs> what the okay, fuck? Okay, drink down your drink. Oh my god. Oh, that was amazing. Weird. That's the deal. A big sip, a big sip. Oh, a big respectable sip. sip. A big sip, a big sip. Okay. Finish that much. Okay, Aditya, what's your favorite movie of all time? Forest Gump. Forest Gump. Right. Okay. What generation is Forest Gump from? Eighties, nineties. Gen A. Hey, that was good. Good one. delivery. Good <laughs> delivery. That good was delivery. really good. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> you know, it's when pedophiles have kids. It's when pedophiles have kids that they really come into their own. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that brings us to the end of the shelfies. An incredible ceremony a dashing young host. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, I'm going to uh, can agree. Yeah, shout out you man. I have I have one last award to give. A surprise award. 
for the best shelfie host oh. we ever had. Okay, let's take and a vote. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and drum roll, please. Hey, who's it gonna be? I don't know. Aman. Hey. Great, great one. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Reena for supplying us with the awesome tableware. Thank you for Hundo and Arioko for the food. Thank you to everything. What a year! What a great time! Twenty twenty three has come to an end. Finally, some have said, and we have been able to document it all. So, God bless. Good night. We love you. Oh, cheers. We love you guys. Don't